and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad, today, you want me to say the title? Go ahead, Bob. All right, how people get their bones professionally cracked. Now, a lot of people don't think physical therapists can crack bones, but we are allowed to do what we call grade five mobilizations. Right, and the word cracked is simply slang. We never use it professionally. Right. You call it cavitate, and that's when the joint pops because the uh, liquid synovial fluid goes into a nitrogen gas, which causes that pop. And it's a very strong psychological Make sure you all factor. understand that. Right, okay. So <laughs> how right. do we do that? Right. Okay, let's go to it. Um, Bob, why don't you lay on your stomach? I'm going to go through one technique, and we're going to talk about there's five grades of mobilizations, and this is through the American Academy of Orthopedic Manual Physical Therapists. Okay? I'm going to get on this side of the table, Bob. You want my arms bent my side? I'll uh, put them down. Uh, I need a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure your patient's always comfortable. Right. So. Right. Actually, I wouldn't do that with your head turned like that, Bob. Like this? Yeah. Normally, we'd have a table. I'd have a towel roll. His head's going to go straight down so things are in line. Uh, one way or another, I'm just going to walk through it. This is not how I would do it in the clinic. And I don't do MOBs, but physical therapists are licensed to, and they can do grade five MOBs. I'm just going to go through a general thing. Do not attempt this at home. This is strictly to be done for, by a trained professional. But I just want to explain why it is a grade five mold and what may, what's the difference. I mean, I can do some pressure on Bob's back like this, and there's some molds where we put our fingers in here, and we're just gently mobilizing the back. Okay, and you might get a pop in there just by doing some things like this. I'm going to work the muscles off the one direction so we stretch out. The, the erector spinae muscles in one way and go the other way. And again, you may get some popping with that, but to get that high velocity thrust, which is a grade five MOBE, and that's what the chiropractors use, and that's what the physical therapists use, regardless of what they, they call it, it's all the same thing as far as what's making the pop. First of all, I'm going to put my hands in this position, and I'm going to push down, I'm going to go forward, and everyone has a little bit different technique with this, and I'm going to rotate, and what we're doing is getting the slack out of the joint, they say that, so that the soft tissue is not getting into the way of the pressure. We get to the, get the slack out, I'm going to twist, and then once we get to that point, you're going to relax, Bob, and exhale, and I'm going to go down, there he goes, he exhales, okay. And you can keep breathing, Bob, I'm going to talk about this. Once you get down to that end range, this takes a feel. You are not going to attempt this at home. A chiropractor, a therapist trained to do this will know when it gets to the end range. They can feel the tissue tightened up, and at that point, they add up thrust like oh, that. Real, real quick. And at that point is where the bone will cavitate, the, not the bone, but the joint will cavitate. And that's what's... That's what makes it so highly skilled. Now, we're not just cavitating any joint in the back, but we're looking for one like at that point, T7 or T8 at the joint at that point. And hopefully, we get that, the results that, that are desired. It's a little controversial as far as the studies, um, how effective is it? Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but there is some controversy on that, and that's why some physicians uh, do not recommend going to a chiropractor, or they don't like physical therapists. Whoops. <laughs> they don't like physical therapists uh, doing grade five mobilizations. But you know, nowadays, Bob, with physical therapist, physical therapy programs across the nation, I think all of them are at a doctorate level. They are. So they're coming out, they're doctors of physical therapy. Right. Uh, with any hope in a few years, people can go directly to a physical therapist like they can go to a doctor or a chiropractor. And this is the type of... Which they can already to some extent. Um, right. Um, certainly with private pay and some of the insurances. Right. So, and you can do grade five mobilizations on shoulders and right. hips and yep. knees. and Neck, and, anywhere yeah. on the spine. So it, it, It's uh, really going to change the field. And I know that chiropractors are going to get a little testy about 
this uh, turf wars. Right, but it's the way it's uh, going to be, and it's, it's they do a lot of our stuff too. Right, right? so and, and we have no problem with chiropractors. Right, exactly. Uh, I think so as long as you get healthy, uh, you do what you need to do. A lot of times do. we work with them. Yep. Uh, a lot of times uh, I'll be working with a patient, a chiropractor will be working with a patient at the same time. Right. We have that arrangement quite often. Win-win so. situation. Yep. So uh, we can continue to work with this and educate you, but we're not going to educate you on one thing, Bob. How, what, what's the big uh, thing? We can't fix a broken heart, so we don't know how to educate you on that. But when so. we get that figured out... <laughs> we're going to be rich. <laughs> Thanks.